I will never know why, but sometime after 1871, my great-grandfather Tom Harold Gonsall left his home in Barnsley for Blackpool. He was, like his younger brother Malcolm, a whitesmith. This trade no longer exists, but at the time whitesmiths worked in cold, non-ferrous metals such as tin, copper, brass and zinc, making handles, screws and pipes. Blacksmith, of course, worked in hot iron and steel. He soon found town centre lodgings and ended up marrying Esther, the daughter of the Threlfall family who lived in Topping Street, which is a very short walk from the Winter Gardens. This was ideal, as he had become extremely skilled and was in 1900 employed by a Blackpool company to fit new copper pipes in the Victoria Street entrance of the wonderful new entertainment centre. This proved to be his undoing, as he and a colleague were being supported by ladders and planks 16 feet off the ground when the ladders started to slide along the wall. All efforts to halt the slide failed and the unsafe structure collapsed, causing both men to sustain serious head injuries, leaving them in a coma. Tom Harold was heard to shout, Murder! as he hit the ground. He never uttered another word, dying four days later with his wife Esther at his bedside. His youngest child Maggie had only been born three years before, and sadly he didn't witness her becoming Rose Queen of Blackpool, in 1911 during the celebrations of the coronation of King George that year. History nearly repeated itself 40 years later when my father, Eric, Tom's grandson, also fell from a similar height while he was serving in North Africa during the Second World War. He was an electrician with the Air Force and was at the top of a telegraph pole when he suffered a violent electric shock which threw him off the pole. By rights he should have perished, but fortune smiled on him that day, on the ground underneath, leaning on the pole, dozing in the shade, was an Arab who broke my father's fall. Unfortunately for the Arab, my father's fall broke his neck and he died instantly. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that poor man's demise. As I grew up, in the back alleys of Blackpool with all its rough and tumble, I quickly decided that in view of my family's tendency towards accidents, I should replace my berry with a crash helmet. <laughs>